Hi guys, Craig Vi here for Spurred On TV. I'm out here with Rob. Hello. <laughs> How are you doing, Rob? Good yeah, man. Good. And we've just seen Spurs get a draw. Well, one one draw with Liverpool. I mean, did we deserve that? I think so. Yeah. I mean, before the game, I thought it was going to be a one-all draw anyway. Uh, but I feel magician. I, I know. I mean, I thought Harry Kane and Coutinho would score. Uh, would score. So obviously got it wrong in that part. But um, yeah, I mean, we we seem to always draw against Liverpool. So. I was kind of predicting that. I didn't think it would be like, you know, the Arsenal-Liverpool game when it was, I think it was 4-3. Mm. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm happy with the point, to be honest with you. Well, the last three games against Liverpool now have all been draws. Yeah. Uh, the, the five before that, we lost to them. Five losses. We had three wins on the bounce, five think, losses, and now three draws in a row. I think that's what we've got to think, is that um, look how far this team's come. I mean, we've got, a, we, you know, we're playing against a, a Jurgen Klopp side, which, uh, you know, he's one of the best managers in the world. There's no denying that. We've, we've been losing like 5-6-0 against Liverpool sides managed by Bren, Brendan Rodgers, who's, you know, not highly rated anymore. So look, we've got to look at how far we've come, you know. We've, a one-all draw is not bad. I mean, you know, you sit next to guys and they're really, um, you know, unhappy about the result and, you know, really annoyed. But look how far we've come, you know. I like it. You're taking the positives yeah, from this. Yeah. I mean, one yeah. of the things that I, I, I do think with the game against Liverpool and a Jurgen Klopp side, make the point that Mauricio Pochettino is probably one of the, the top managers in yeah. the Premier League as well. Um, but they, the, the teams play very, in a very similar style, the yeah. same kind of football. Yeah. Looking at that today, is it fair to say that Liverpool beat us at our own game? I think so, yeah. I mean, um, yeah, we, it's, I thought, you know, it's count, counterproductive for, you know, that they were cancelling each other out almost. Each other out, you know. It's uh, it was almost like predicted. I, I thought, you know, it's almost predicted that we was going to cancel each other out. So um, it's not a real surprise to me. But um, I definitely think if you was going to compare the compare the teams, they can't, you know, they probably did get the better of us because there were sloppy balls from us and, and so on. But. Yeah, we lacked, we lacked that kind of fluidity today, didn't we? That we've yeah. seen, I mean, really since the last four games of last season and into pre-season as well, you know, we, we haven't had that, that fluidity up front, putting the moves together and finishing them off. Yeah. Is that concerning for you? Um, no, not really. I mean, last season, Harry Kane took however long, you know, not seven games, seven games to, um, to score. So it's not really worrying to me. I mean, like I said, we're used to Liverpool beating us 5-6-0 here and in, uh, in just quickly on that point as well and on the last three games before this Liverpool haven't lost at White Hart Lane they've scored eight and conceded none so this is the fourth ga game they've had in White Hart Lane uh, since those three matches and we've drawn today we've scored against, scored against them so that's that's going one yeah, better yeah, isn't it yeah definitely definitely I mean um, you know what it's like a couple of seasons ago it was dreadful coming here when we was playing Liverpool and they just ripped us to shreds you know it's just it was terrible. Now we can come here when we're disappointed in, you know, getting one point. But it's, it's you know, I don't know. It's just, yeah. I think we need to take more positives than negatives because. Yeah, I don't know. It's just well, no, I hear what you're saying. I think last season, the, the real turnaround and the, the, the thing that gave us the belief was beating Man City here 4-1. Yeah. And it feels like we need that to happen again. You know, that was quite a few games into the season. Can, but can you see us at this point, although we did start slowly last season, is it, does it have a different feeling about it this season? Or can you see us turning someone over soon? I think so. Um, I've not really looked at the teams we've got coming up. But, um, yeah, definitely. I, I, I don't see why... Maybe get a couple of more players in, you know, in Kudu, but he's he's obviously um, untested in, in the Premier League. But Saha maybe. Um, but then I, I heard people say before that we haven't really got the pace from last season, but we haven't lost any players. So if we're gonna, you know, we can't lose any pace from last season yeah. because unless players are tired, we can't lose any uh, any pace from last season because we haven't lost anyone or, you know, you know, what I'm trying to say like yeah, no, I hear you. players. So. Um, I we do need some pace up front, though. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I mean, I've seen Saha a couple of times, and he doesn't look like somebody who would do would do well straight away. But is that that is that? I mean, that deal apparently is unlikely, according to yeah, the the Palace chairman. Yeah. So is Nkudu it? Is that what? Is that the the only signing you, you can see coming in? I mean, I really liked Ng. I really liked him. I saw him against Monaco when he you know set up about two you know two goals, and he was really good. So. I don't see any difference between them two. So, but he could do well. I mean, he's obviously quick. So, um, yeah, I hope he does. Let's see what that brings, eh, Rob? Yeah. But in, in terms of like a couple of people spoke about Ericsson beforehand, and uh, 
I think you've been a bit unfair on Ericsson, to be honest with you. He didn't have a great game, but I saw him close down plays and work hard for the team. I did too, yeah. yeah so, I mean, we're used to him having inc inconsistent uh, games, but... I mean, people I are. Need, pe I don't think we need to read into this stuff about him wanting to leave or, you know, demanding that £150,000. Do, do you think it's just about contract demands? Maybe, but. Sorry. May, right. Maybe, but um, I don't know. I think, you know, we're used to him having these inconsistent games, so we kind of just need to stick behind him and just, you know. It's funny, it's funny that people aren't necessarily getting on the back of Harry Kane as much as they are getting on Christian Eriksen. Lamella lost a lot of balls this game. I mean, you know, Gave her the penalty used, away. Exactly. We're used to him losing it. But, you know, he's done quite well in pre-season. And uh, I think, he's, you know, he scored in the first game. But, um, yeah, I think we need to, st we need to stick off uh, Eriksen. I think, I think as people wanting him to do well, I think, you know, Spurs fans love Christian Eriksen. You know, what he brings, the, you know, the magic touch that he's got. And I think it's because we all know what potentially he does yeah. have, how good he can be, that it's so frustrating at yeah. times when he doesn't bring it. But let's remember, we've got Dembele to come back soon. That's a and big he, shout, big shout. He's a big player for us, you know. Once he's back into the team, um, I, I think we'll, we'll definitely do a lot better. I mean, last, last season's stats showed it all, really, with the amount of games we won without him. I don't think we lost any. I think we lost mm -hmm. all the games without him in the team. So, yeah, I don't know. Once Dembele's back, I think we can have a bit more, bit more of an opinion about the team. But Eriksson, just let him do his thing. You know, he's he's a great player. He's a great player. So, yeah. Nice one. Thank you very much, Rob. Let's look forward to the Moose coming back. I think yeah. he's going to bring that dynamism to the midfield, just like you say. Keep it positive, Spurs fans. Come on, you Spurs. On. Make sure you subscribe to the channel on YouTube. Follow us on Twitter, at TV, and like and follow our Facebook page.